Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. And we're going to be talking about Portia Williams. And we're going to be messy. Yes we are. But we at this point where. Don't be telling my business. Why are you telling my business? Why not? Because I can can and I can can and I can can I can can and I will. Portia we want to know here at the house. The Del Chanel's 48th World House. We want to know girl. When I did a, a, a video on you before saying you were at the wedding of the brat and Big Booty Judy. That y'all were down there. Or you were down there. And you, what was Simon, girl? What was Simon? Then people got into the comments and asked me, oh, well, why you ain't talking about uh, where Candy husband? Where Eva husband? Well, yeah, they, they together. They, they where they need to be. At home with the kids. Shit. Eva and Candy Pops, I need this time by myself. And then, could it be plausible that both heterosexual men do not find it appealing to go to a same-sex wedding of two women getting together? I mean, that's not their total outlook on life. Now, if they was in the bed and the man were taking care of two women at one time, that probably would interest them. But... I mean, just saying, it could not have even been that. But I'm just thinking, maybe they just didn't want to see two um, women get married, you know, and express their love in public. Maybe that's just something they didn't want to be bothered with. And it's okay. That's their feelings. And, you know, we can't judge on that. Or then, again, they just probably say, hey, I'm just going to go. I don't feel like going shit. Uh, did you get them a present? You know, make sure you got both our names on it, baby, and, and, and get going. And maybe the girls, Eva and Candy, just wanted to have that time to themselves. They didn't even want their husbands to come. You know, they probably begged them to stay the hell at home. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought maybe that would be the eye-opening piece, the resistance of why they did not want to or they did not accompany uh, their wives, which was Candy and Todd and, and um, uh, Eva and her husband, Michael. Okay, so we did, we're done with that. All right, but my whole concern with Miss Portia on this video, girl, there have been two separate times recently that you've been without this man. Now, y'all had to post all these pictures and a will of uh, uh, Anguilla that you uh, paid for Valentine's Day. And I don't know what's going on with Shamia either. Her husband's not been with her a couple of times. But it maybe is what it is. He may share the same sentiments or not. That he didn't want to see two women get married. Okay. He has got it good. Okay. But my concern is Portia. It's always my concern is Portia. <laughs> Since Portia just put this man in front of us. Have been dripping him. You know. Every parts of her life is she going to the bathroom she'll take it and put it on social media you know he going to the bathroom y'all look how six he is i mean for the last six months she has been pushing this man on us but recently you can see that's a house game recently uh being shown on portia's um instagram account her friend came into town and they wanted to have a good time now does that outfit show like i am married now, I'm talking about Portia. I ain't talking about Tanya now. Because Tanya's always had a cute little style of her own. And, uh, but we're talking about Portia. Does that look like, uh, I am engaged. I am getting married. Conservative look. That look like, I look good. I look damn good. And I'm going to show my body. And I kind of like that outfit. I think it's fine. You know, that's appropriate. It's kind of conservative, but cute. And showing a little skin here and there. Uh, but not like the other outfits she been going on. Maybe she listen to my videos, y'all. Y'all think I know a lot of her team uh, mates be getting on me real hard about her. But I like to tell her how it is. You either gonna drink the uh, look on point you straight with no chaser, or you gonna have issues. You gonna go be enablers. You know, uh, you don't have people enabling you to dismiss Porsche's, you know, uh, antics and shit out here. And then, you know, it's just. No, we need to straighten out Portia every time. We just, we just gently stroking her in a sense where we don't, we want to hit her side of the head pretty much what we want to do. But we can't really do that. So we're just nudging her and stroking her, you know, 
from the back of her head, like, you know, calming her down, say, baby, this is the way you need to go. This other way, no, nah, that's not for you. That That's something you need to just come on out. Just come on out and tell us, you know, you made a mistake. We're trying to, you know, date an older man, and, and you're going to leave him where he at. You, you know, y'all mutually, amicably broke up. And then, you know, set your sights on somebody else. Yeah, just know yourself first. Know about self first before you try to get married. And then marrying an old man, too. You're looking thirsty. You're looking like a thirst bucket out there. But... I kind of got off tangent, but what I really was trying to bring home was Portia has been out two times. She went to a wedding without um, Simon. Then she turned around and went to a game where it was Tanya and some girl named Shawnee. And they both were dressed real fine. And Portia was dressed fine, too. And I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, where is Simon? Once again, where is your hubby, your fiance, the man you've been throwing down our throats and our eyes? Where is he? I, he's, he hadn't materialized yet. And you've been out two separate times without him. Showing up, showing out, looking fabulous. And, and, and he ain't on your arm. But you ain't on his arm. Okay? You out there with Rick and Smiler. You don't work for that man no more. You're not a part of that. But I know you pretty much wanted to, you know, make, mingle and mix with the people that got jobs. And, and, and doing things out there still. And I'm like, Bernie Mac, I see your ass. I see you. Something's not going good. Something is not kosher in your relationship. It's finna get messy. Are you trying to drop him, Portia? Are you trying to drop it like it's hot? Drop him like it's hot, okay? And park his ass on well. You can call him, be honest. Are you a single girl? And you, you just ain't knowing how to let us know what's going on. Are you single, Portia? Let us know. Okay, because then we'll celebrate. We'll celebrate with you and be telling you, don't do that no more. Find somebody that's appropriate for you. Because we're driving straight on into Missville. All right. We know shit is going down. Because you and him are, you know, like, y'all like freaking frat. Well, that's what you want to show us. I mean, did y'all have a little spat? Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm got your purple bus out here. Because I know you kind of slow. You know, academically as well as socially. So, you know, we, we want to keep you at whatever speed you need to be at. But we basically want to know, girl, are you a single woman now? Girl, did it not work out? Okay. Now, we know Tanya. Okay. Well, we know Shamia. We don't know too much about her. We don't really care about her. She's not subject matter. We know you tried to hook up with Ricky Smiler allegedly back in the day. But he didn't want you. Because some, somebody said he kind of like. You know, he liked the same sex. But we, that's allegedly too. So that wasn't going to work out for you. And we know you're not a lesbian. So you like me. I mean, hey, you could go both ways. I don't know, Portia. You just really hadn't turned us off to that. Or turned us on to that. That that's your lifestyle too. Like Candy, we know she like women. She like men. She's very upfront, Very up forward about things. That's why I said, tell your truth. And shame the devil, Okay. But Tanya came in town with her husband to be as the same as you, y'all forever. But y'all see Tanya and her, her uh, fiance or whoever he is to her. I think they're trying to do a statement and Oprah thing. They don't have to be married. They know what it is. He treats her like it's uh she married, and she's been with that man fifteen plus years. So we just counsel her to the wind. That's just the relationship she's in, and she's satisfied with that relationship rule of thumb but you portion i'm baby girl you wants to be mrs somebody and instead of you just kicking him to the side and you and baby girl uh live life fully by yourselves for a while until you know the lord bring you somebody if you're still praying to the same lord that i think you got but you know you might not be praying to the same lord okay you might be on a satanic realm because i don't know how you could be all churchy one moment and then you're sitting up and laying up with a man that's not even your um your um your husband and then you was in the midst from what they say i don't know but it's kind of credible that you tried to take him or you took him from his wife before they fully got the divorce papers signed and dried okay so i don't know what's going on he buying your cars out there it's almost like this song uh <laughs> bruno mars this itch got me paying her rent paying for trips diamonds on her neck diamonds on her wrist and i'm so alone <laughs> i'm like girl you got them smoking out the window 
like, girl, what what's going on with you, girl? What's going on with you? I don't know what is going on, and I want to know. Candy living her best life. Lisa Ray living her best life. We don't know what Shamil doing. We really don't care at this point because it seems like she's trying to live life through you, and you trying to live it through her. I don't know because you got African men, Liberian men. What's going on, girl? That's what we want to know. So the point is, we don't really care why Eva's husband wasn't there at the wedding. We don't really care why Todd, uh, Candace's husband, Todd wasn't there at the wedding. What we were trying to find out is where the hell was Simon? You took him on an all-expense-paid trip for Valentine's Day. What, your child get a little tit and tat when you came back or on your way back? What, what happened, girl? Because he's still supposed to be on your risk. Going to this wedding and going to the house game because that's what he do. He stood up there be profiling and styling with shades on. Ain't not now a bit of sunlight up in the venue. Okay, but he got the lights just blinding him, I guess, from what they have on the inside. But when he need to have on shades when he's out in Costa Rica, he ain't got nothing but his cigar in one hand in his pocket, hand in the pocket of the left one. I'm like, man, please. So. That's all I got for this video, guys. They got married. Okay. Beautiful ceremony it was. But the question was, and we're still asking, where the hell was Simon? Two events now. First, with the, uh, first event was he wasn't with her at the Super Bowl. Okay. That's what started the kickoff. And she was just dressed like a little hoe, trying to sit like she tried to kiss somebody out there. I don't know. I don't know. But it was a good ne networking uh, opportunity for him, but he didn't show up. Now he didn't come to the brat and um, uh, Big, Big Booty Judy's wedding. And I'm sure Portia had a plus one because they don't know anything about Shamia. Okay? They don't know anything about Shamia. She's on one B103 as a radio personality person. Not with Ricky smiling. So, they had to give her a plus, plus one. And I guess Portia said, come on, Shamil, girl. Let's go do this thing. Let's go get sex, sexy up. We might find some more African men. Or, you know, she's probably just, you know, saying, oh, hell, maybe Shamil was saying it, too. To replace Simon and her husband. I don't know. Don't really know how they get down. But, Shamil better watch herself while she out there playing with Portia. She's going to get caught up. And then she is going to be single. Okay. I'm just saying. Single mom. Just like Portia is at this present time. Okay. Because if a man want to marry you. Everything is good. He ain't going to wait on no show to get married. He's going to go on and marry you. And wife you. And love on you. Okay. Because life is short. You don't know when the that person's death time is going to come around. None of us know that. So why wait? You're getting a uh, cow for free anyway. Shit. But it just is what it is. I thought I would just bring that to point. Of why I did not discuss. Why Todd didn't come. And why uh, Eva's husband didn't come. They probably didn't want to be there. Damn. You know what I'm saying. It is what it is. But we trying to figure out. Where's Portia's husband to be. Okay. Did they break up. And still she ain't told us. Because she's still out there flung herself around. Like she's single. I mean, at least she got some clothes. I don't know why she got, she kind of got like a, 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 a little cowboy style thing going on. The fringes and shit is what I'm talking about. But, honey, baby, woo, something ain't right. We might know about it this month, or we might know about it before the summertime come. But there's no wedding in Portia's uh, plans, okay? I don't know what she doing, what she toying with. And from what I heard, which will be my next video on these YouTube streets, uh, Portia trying to get Candy fired. <laughs> I'm like, what? The girl, like, Portia's not even on Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore. Why is she trying to get Candy fired? That's the bullshit, isn't it? So I'm going to go over there and do a video. And y'all come on over once I finish with this video. So we can chit chat in those comments and say, what the hell is going on with Portia? Just because she fucked up. She sat up there and uh, let all her job opportunities just go to the wayside because she thought she had a billionaire. Now she want to come back and play with the girls. <laughs> I'm like, I'm through it. But we don't have to fire Candy just to bring her back. We want Candy to go, you know, on her own accord. But if Bob are ready to get rid of her, then I'm sure they'll give her the same thing. Uh, she'll be a friend of the show. 
or whatnot, or they might have something bigger and better. They might offer her a seat at the executive table. <laughs> okay, and be a real EP, not just a name only. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think Portia, if this is true, she's barking up the wrong tree, and then it just comes back to show us that Portia ain't never full of shit. You know what I'm saying? She don't want to see nobody ele elevate, and if they ain't elevating her, she don't want to see nobody else elevate. I'm like, you had the opportunity. I don't know if they were trying to get rid of you on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because you had a high salary too. And they tricked you on giving you a spinoff instead. And then that, that felt really miserable. They don't need to be resurrected or anything. We need to have MK Ultra going on where we can forget about what we saw because it was a hot, hot mess. Okay. And it just it bothers me to even think about that show and, and, and how it made you look just like a fool. It really did. It made look made you look like you had no home training, no home sense, no no nothing going on. No common sense, no nothing. But I see you. I'm with Bernard Mac. I see you, girl. You're trying to get out of this marriage thing. But you don't know how to get out of this marriage uh, farce of a storyline. Because it's not working. Okay. It's truly, truly not working. And you want to go back in time. Well, no. We can only press forward, baby. We can only press forward. And, and, and give it what is given us. But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all ponder about this video. Get in those comments and dialogue. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.